Welcome back. A story of discovering strength and purpose to miss difference and learning to work as a team. That's what Bigger Diggers is all about. That's right, and here to tell us all about her latest children's book is author Maya McGlynn. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Congratulations on the new book. Can you give us Thank the pitch? You. What's this one about? So this is a story about these big machines who are on the job mm -hmm. and they know what they're doing. They know how to do it. They know they do it well. Mm -hmm. But there's a little guy and he's kind of unsure of his place like so many little kids can be, totally. you know. So um, he gets an opportunity and gets to show these bigger guys that he actually is a pretty integral part of the team. We all have a place so they become friends in that. Now, that. when we hear the name Maya McGlynn, we think of your photography business. Right. But if we're thinking, okay, well, you're a photographer, you're all this big rig machinery, you also have another position. Right. Yeah. I work as a marketing manager for a local heavy equipment dealership. So that's where this was born, actually. Right. Combining passions, literally, because the photos yeah. you took became the illustrations that exactly. are in the book. You said it's a process that you did on your phone? It started on my phone, wow. yes, um, and that's like the little Samsung, you know, yeah, yeah. and it had the stylus, and my husband would be watching TV and watching me doodle every night, mm -hmm. and he finally got to the point where he's like, you need something a little bigger to yeah. be working off of, so he ended up surprising me with a tablet Perfect. for Christmas. And so. then look, we have these beautiful illustrations, again, super yeah. authentic because it's coming from the images that you take yeah. literally on the job, so you're combining so many you know, passions of yours into yeah. this book. And it's just your, it's not your first book. Talk to us about your other works. So I have a few others. I actually started the process, I want to say last year I was mm -hmm. launching. I, I basically took three different stories that I wrote and I kind of combined them all at one time. I just, I hammered away. So yeah. I started with some low content journals just to see how the process would be. And then once I got the hang of that, I grabbed a hold of these other stories that I had written, mm -hmm. started kind of sourcing some art and playing with it. And I self-published those just so that I could get a feel for the process. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of all that, after having actually gotten a chance to ride in that big machine mm -hmm. and take pictures on a demo, I was just so floored by the, the sheer size of it, it made such an impression and I loved the photos from it. And I was just like, I look at the face of it and, and I'm like, there's something there. Yeah. So the story developed around it and I wrote it and I thought, oh, I'm gonna have someone else illustrate this. I don't have time because with everything else, it's really hard oh, yeah. to devote the time to it. And after a while, it just came down to, you know what? I have to make the time. I have to because it's my baby. Yeah. So the other books, um, that largely I get my impressions from, real life, yeah. you know, people that inspire me. I have, um, relating to Mother's Day yeah. yesterday, I have a book called When You Give a Mom a Moment, mm -hmm. When You Give a Mom a Minute, and um, that one is largely about watching female entrepreneurs who are also moms really try to juggle being a mom yeah. and running a business and getting that balance, which is so hard to achieve. Mm -hmm. So, MayaMcGlennBooks.com oh if you wanted to learn more, get a copy of uh, Bigger Diggers or any of the other uh, books. I think you need to come back on the show the next time I you want to talk about day. books. So. I love we them. could, we could. We I'm could talk about fan. it all the time. Well, thanks for being here, Maya. <laughs> Thank we you have so happy much. Mother's Day. Thank Mother of you. <laughs> you guys stick around at home. We've got more with PA Live coming up after this.